Chicago police credit cameras for swift arrests in this weekend's murder of a police officer. Surveillance video is not an option for state police when they investigate violence on expressways and it shows. Morning Insider Lauren Victory dies into the proposal being considered by lawmakers today to hopefully crack more cases. Literally, she was my best friend, so we would talk about everything. And the conversation on February 5th between Jayla Shelton and Tammy Clayton was no exception. We were talking about her going to work as usual. But that commute would be her mother's last. The postal worker was shot randomly on Interstate 57. What is the latest on your mom's case? So there have been no um, suspects arrested. Clayton's murder mystery is hardly the only one plaguing Illinois State Police. CBS 2 discovered only 10 people have been arrested in more than 160 cases of gunfire on Illinois expressways since 2016. We won't stop the shootings, but hoping to give the Illinois State Police another tool. Representative Thaddeus Jones is talking about a huge hole in ISP resources. Our state's 600 highway cameras are only able to live stream video, not capture it. But there's no fiber to record if the Illinois State Police, if there's a shooting, to go back and record the license plate, uh, the, any individuals that are in the car. Illinois' Department of Transportation has repeatedly told CBS2 that video-capable cameras would be quote-unquote cost prohibitive. Besides equipment upgrades, storage fees could add up. But we checked with Chicago police. They have 40,000 pod cameras that not only record, but also keep video for 15 to 30 days if necessary. And the 32,000 cameras on trains and buses are credited with helping CPD make 1,387 arrests, according to the Chicago Transit Authority. This uh, bill will allow the Illinois State Police to capture people faster. Jones is proposing IDOT install fiber connections for cameras in Cook County. That's where the bulk of expressway violence happens. It's unknown right now what the uh, amount will be, but it's estimated between 25 to $70 million. So the GoFundMe is Shelton is collecting money online to raise awareness about our technological shortfall. Start a movement to really get those readable and recordable cameras. Everyone is going to continue to live in constant fear because it's still happening. The bill is expected to hit the floor next week. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. The Transportation Vehicles and Safety Committee will consider his bill today. We'll, of course, keep you posted. It definitely seems like a change whose time has come. Mm -hmm.